Rockstar Games is going to be celebrating the Lunar New Year here in Grand Theft Auto Online. We're going to be getting a bunch of free items and a whole lot more. So this is actually the first time really in which Rockstar Games is going to be celebrating this holiday. And in case you guys don't know, the Lunar New Year is one of the most important celebrations of the year amongst East and Southeast Asian cultures like Chinese, Vietnamese, and Korean communities. And the New Year celebration is usually celebrated for multiple multiple days and really not just one day and in 2023 it actually begins on January 22nd so that means tomorrow on January 19th Rockstar is going to be probably introducing all of this new content celebrating the Lunar New Year and I'm here to give you a good idea on what they are going to be doing. So let's begin with what Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2 said on social media the other day. Rockstar is set to celebrate the Lunar New Year very soon. Expect peyote plants to return with increased chances or 100% chances of rabbit transformation as well as special clothing and masks. Okay, so upon hearing that, you might be wondering, why is Rockstar going to increase the peyote plant chances to have us transform into a rabbit? Well, that's because each year in the lunar calendar, it's actually represented by one of the 12 zodiac animals included in the cycle of 12 stations or signs along the apparent path of the sun through the cosmos. So these 12 zodiac animals are the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. In addition to the animals, five elements of earth, water, fire, wood, and metal are also mapped onto that traditional lunar calendar. But each year is associated with an animal that corresponds to an element. And 2023 is slated to be the year of the rabbit. The last time that came up, was in 2011. So now that you know that, you can understand why Rockstar is increasing the peyote chances for us to transform into a rabbit. Now, someone did end up asking, what's so special about the rabbit transformation? And he said, it's not special, but Rockstar added a new variable so that when the peyote plants are enabled, Rockstar could set a chance rate of how often you transform into a rabbit. It could be set to 100%, or 50%, etc. Basically, increase chances since it's the year of the rabbit. So long story short, when the update arrives tomorrow on January 19th, there's a really good chance that peyote plants will be activated and that they're probably going to turn us, if not 100% into a rabbit, the majority of the time a rabbit. So if you see a lot of rabbits hopping around Los Santos over the next couple of days, well, that is why. And you're obviously looking at some footage right now of that happening and honestly how it works. So it's just kind of fun an interesting way for Rockstar to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Now, as Insider Tez Funds 2 also mentioned, Rockstar going to be giving away some special clothing and masks as well. We know one of the masks is probably going to be this rabbit one right here. This one is actually called No Painted Rabbit. And you guys can see it's a pretty cool design, sort of in the red, white, and black with yellow accents. I can almost guarantee you that this one is going to be added as well as the other three that you can see there like Twilight Painted Rabbit, Traditional Painted Rabbit. It would not be surprising if a ton of animal masks are unlocked during this Lunar New Year event. We already know there's going to be a new t-shirt that they're going to be giving away that literally says year of the rabbit and it has like a big foot on there so that's kind of cool but it looks like rockstar also has a ton of other clothing items that are left in the files of the game that we could be getting very soon and throughout the drip feed of the los santos drug wars update so what I want to do is show you guys some of that right now. This is also coming from Insider Tez Funds 2. It looks like these items are going to be exclusive to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. But honestly, there's a lot of them that Rockstar have added through this update, and I'm not going to try to describe every single one of them. But they are pretty cool. Rockstar have drip feed cardigans, cuffs, denim jackets, drip feed glasses, drip feed hats, jeans, party shirts, shoes, ski masks, and more. 
And obviously, all the items that you're seeing right now, there's no chance that Rockstar are going to give these away all at once or throughout the duration of the Lunar New Year DLC update. In fact, we might never see some of these items released. That's kind of the way it works with this sort of stuff is Rockstar add them to the game and then they just kind of pick and choose when they want to release them. In fact, a lot of the things we're seeing right now that Rockstar are giving away, like vehicle liveries, outfits and whatnot, have been in the game for years. So there is no chance that these will be given away anytime soon. But there is so much that Rockstar have included. Again, these are for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC only. And I like that a lot of the clothing items that you're seeing, some of them are referenced to like the black and white checkerboard glitched outfits that you used to be able to wear or kind of Easter eggs or references to famous chefs like Guy Fieri. So I, I do think that Rockstar have included some really cool items here and it'll be nice to see if some of these are released sooner rather than later or honestly at least before GTA 6 arrives because at that point in time no one's going to care about this drip feed sort of stuff. Now, another interesting thing that I believe Rockstar is going to pair with this Lunar New Year update is a new batch of GTA Plus stuff, sort of speaking about the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S. As you know, today is the final day for the current benefits, so I figured I would talk about that a little bit as well, and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you are interested in any of the stuff that Rockstar gives out, like the free clothing or the $500,000 cash or member-only shark cards, free CEO VIP abilities and vehicle requests, as well as all the other benefits and bonuses and free stuff, vehicles and properties. Check it out. But I would imagine that some of the stuff that's going to be included in the Lunar New Year 2023 update will probably be locked behind the GTA Plus event. So as always, when we get information and details on that and what's going to be kept away, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted in those comments down below, as well as everything else that Rockstar decides to do with the event week tomorrow. And I'm sure they will tie it in to the Lunar New Year in some way, shape or form. So that'll be very interesting to see. But let me know what you guys think in those comments down below about Lunar New Year here in Grand Theft Auto Online. How do you plan on celebrating? Do you like what Rockstar's doing? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.